Good morning. This is Chef Inspire. I am continuing my 176 day challenge to 60 with a six pack. And I want to talk to you about motivation, about changing and what motivates you to change. Now, right now, I decided to change. And my motivation for change is motivation, me motivating myself, and love. Me, loving myself enough to say that I'm worth this. That I'm worth this. So that's my motivation. Most people are motivated by um, desperation and fear. Desperation and fear like your doctor tells you, listen, if you don't get it right, if you don't lose some weight, you're going to you're going you're gonna to die. You, you're going to die. You, you are you're type two diabetes. You got all these taking all these medications. If you don't get yourself in order or start to do something to change your habits, you won't be here long. Most people. But why not choose to be motivated and to love yourself enough to change your habits and to do something that's going to uplift, motivate, and inspire you to be better, stronger, and more powerful as a person. You deserve this. You deserve this. I'm going to give you five points. And with these five points, I just want you to listen to them closely because this is a really important stuff. And if you grasp these concepts, what will happen is you will change and you will change through love and motivation, the love of yourself and motivating yourself to do something different. Number one, 90 percent of the people on this earth are body led. What do I mean by body led? You're led by your body. Your body is the boss. Your body tells you what to do, where to go, how to go, what to eat, where, I mean, when to rest, when not to exercise. Your body is pretty much in control. So if you are in the percentage of the 90% where your body is in control, you are out of control. So what you want to do is you want to fix that. You want to fix that. You want to fix that situation where your body is in control and become aligned, which brings me to my second point, becoming aligned. Now, what do I mean by becoming aligned? When I say aligned, it works like this. There, it, there are three parts of you as a human being, your mind, your body, and your spirit. Now, to be aligned means that the most important part of that trio is leading and directing you. If not, then you are out of alignment. Now, what is alignment? Alignment is when your spirit is telling your mind what to do and your mind is telling your body what to do. That is alignment. And why is it in that order so important? Your spirit telling your mind and your mind telling your body. The, the reason why it is so important is because your spirit man is the only part of you that has direct connection with infinite intelligence, with the creator. So it is getting downloads. It is getting instructions. It is getting um, information that will help you to govern your life and to be the very best that you can be. And you can only get that and only operate in uh, a powerful way if you are aligned. Your spirit man is receiving instruction from the infinite intelligence. It's giving that instruction to your mind and your mind is telling your body, get up and go. You don't have a choice. You have to listen to me. This is alignment. Number three, self motivation or self mastery self mastery now what is self mastery Ma self mastery means this that i am becoming a master of myself i am aligned and when i become aligned this leads to self mastery alignment is the road to self mastery 
If you are aligned, that means that you are always going to do what is very best for you, mind, body, and spirit. You will always, why? Because infinite intelligence or God is not going to give you information that's going to hurt you. So in alignment, you are getting the downloads through your spirit. Your spirit is telling your mind and your mind is telling your body that it must do what is necessary to move you forward to your chosen um, destination. So self-mastery comes when you become aligned. Self-mastery becomes when you are, when your spirit man is in control of your mind and your mind is in control of your body. You got it? Number four. Who is your boss? Who's your boss? Who is your boss? Who's telling, who's calling the shots? When you go into the supermarket, is your body saying, look at those donuts glazed. They look so delicious. Krispy Kreme. Mm -mm -mm. Is your pick up a box. It'll be all right. You work out. You deserve it. Is your body craving in control? Or is your mind in control? Now, when you're mind led, what happens is you try to intellectualize every situation. You know, you try to, 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 to rationalize situations. Well, you know what? I ain't going to start today. I'll start tomorrow. Um, nah, I think that what I'm going to do is I'll wait until the end of this quarter in order to start my, my, my workout. When you are mind-led or you are body-led, you are pretty much out of control. So... You want to be in a place where the boss man is your spirit man, who you feed the most. If you take those three areas, if you feed your body the most, your body will dominate. If you feed your mind the most, he will intellectualize yourself into all types of situations. But if you feed your spirit man on a regular basis through fasting, through praying, through reading uh, scriptures and reading inspirational, motivational stuff, your spirit man will dominate and he will be the boss. This is what you want. Because if this happens, your life will start to unfold and you will live a life worth living. Most people, which brings me to my next point, number five, most people live in the area of survival. They are just surviving they're just surviving. They're just barely making it. They're just, they're doing whatever it takes to, to make it happen. They go on to work grudgingly. They work out sporadically. They're just surviving. But you don't want to be in survival. You don't want to live in survival. You want to thrive. You want to be in creativity. You want to be in a position where you are creating your life and the best way to predict your future is to create your future and how do I create my future I create my future by systematically moving myself through life not just surviving you want to thrive you don't want to be in survival mode because when you're in survival mode guess what that's where stress comes in. You, you become stressful. You become irritated. You become aggravated. You become irritable. Because you are just surviving. Fearful. But creativity is where we should be living. Because that is the perfect place. The perfect place. Now let me, ch let me show you why it's the perfect place. Because creativity is... When you are getting inspi inspiration from the Holy Spirit or from the Spirit of God or from infinite intelligence, whatever you call it, when you are getting inspiring thoughts, which you feed, which is fed to your, through your spirit, man, into your mind, and then you tell your body to get up and do that thing. So you are on a mission every single day. 
You are creating a life worth living. You are not in survival mode. This is the most important place that you can live. Live in creativity. Live in a place where your spirit man is leading you. Become aligned. And your life will prosper beyond your wildest dreams. So let me go over those five things again. Number one, 90 percent, 90 percent of the people are being body led. Their body is their mind. You don't want to be there. Number two, becoming aligned. Aligned meaning your spirit man is telling your mind what to do and your mind is telling your body what to do. Number three, self-mastery. Self-mastery comes when you become fully aligned. When this is a uh, practice you feeding your you feeding your spirit on a regular basis and your spirit is feeding your mind and your mind is feeding your body instructions number 4 who is your boss the one you feed the most will dominate that one will lead you or destroy you and number 5 living in survival or creation you get to choose where are you living? In survival or creation? This is Chef Inspire saying, don't wait until you get a, a negative diagnosis to change. You want to change with motivation and love. Motivation, motivating yourself and doing something because you love you and that you are worth it. If you do that, your life will get better and better. Do you get it? You got it? Good. Have a blessed day.